and we are good to go. Welcome everybody to Math 144 and the Excel sheets for our discussion questions. Let's first of all, take a look at what the Excel sheet is asking us to do. Here I've prepared for you guys right here, a checklist. All right, so if you want to know, are you ready to hand it in? Just go to your checklist and make sure you've done everything accordingly, okay? So it says, enter your name in the blue cell, I2, okay? Your name is not math, so don't enter math unless, of course, that's your name. All right, I'm going to put my name in here, Math Whisperer, okay? So there we go. I'm good to go. Next, what does it say to do? It says... Enter an input numbers in cell B6 and C6. All right, so let's go in here. I'm going to type in negative 1 and 4. All right, so I have typed in numbers in cell B6 and C6. The next step says enter a formula in cells F6 through F10. The first one is addition. Notice it says that right here in, in G6, it says addition. Here's my example to follow. I start my formula with an equals and I'm gonna add two terms together. I'm not gonna add A and B though. A and B are going to be represented by, notice right here, B6 and C6. So click on that cell, F6, enter equals. Click on B6 right, which is being represented there by A in column E, right, um, equals A plus B equals B6 plus C6. So now you can see I have one that's highlighted in blue, one that's highlighted in red, and I have my formula. I hit enter. All right. Now I'm going to go down here below and I'm going to do one more with you guys. This one says equals A, then the caret sign, and then B. Okay, so type in my equal sign. Click on A, which is represented by cell B6. And then my shift and my caret key. That gives me an exponent. And now I want B, and that is C6. And I hit enter. And now you can see I have my formula. And this is formatted to two decimal place, mine are, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. There are two ways to do it, okay? I'll show you both. First of all, left click on cell F6 and drag your mouse all the way down until you have highlighted all the cells. Then you can right click with your mouse and you can say format cells, choose a number, choose two decimal places, look, I can, one decimal place, zero decimal places, I can add or, or take away as I want to. I want two decimal places, so I click OK. Now all of those cells in F6 through F10 are formatted to two decimal places. Notice I can also do something similar right up here, everybody, with decimal places up here as well. Right there, I can move left or right, adding or taking away decimal places, okay? So I have entered my formulas. I have formatted everything properly. All right, there's a link for support if you need it. All right, now I'm gonna to go to the next set of green cells that is in column E, cell E18 down through cell E25. I need to enter a number there. I'm going to enter negative one again, just for fun. And now I'm going to do something fun. You guys are going to like this. Watch. I'm going to enter a little formula. I'm going to type equals. And I'm going to click on the cell right above it, which is E18. And I'm going to say plus 2. E18 plus 2 is going to add 2 to whatever I put in cell E18. So hit enter. N is 1. And you say, of course, negative 1 plus 2 is 1. That's correct. But now watch. This is the fun part. Left click on the lower right, watch my mouse, watch the lower right corner, my mouse changes. When it does, I left click and I drag down and that copies my formula all the way down. Now you can see I'm adding by two as I go. And now I'm gonna show you guys the power, okay, the power of a formula in Excel. 
Watch, if I change my original input, which was negative one, if I change it to negative two, watch what happens now. Now my numbers all change. Every single value in column E there changed because I changed the initial number, okay? So you can leave it like that or you want to just play with it around. It's just a little bit of an introduction to the power of a formula. All right. Now notice I could do the same thing up here. If I went back up here and if I put in two rather than four, watch my numbers. Watch, watch that, everybody. All right. I entered two and my number changed to six and to 16. Why? Two plus four is six. Two raised to the fourth power is 16. So now I don't change the numbers. I don't do any more arithmetic in column F. I just change the input and the outputs change. That's the power of a function or a formula in Excel. All right, next. I've entered my numbers, going back to my checklist. I've entered my numbers, and now I'm going to type in a formula. In cell H18, I want to type this one. Don't, don't copy and paste. Do not copy and paste. That will ruin your formatting. Everybody just type the formula. Equals A-B-E-R-A-G-E. -E. The toughest part there is the spelling, right? But we got it. Now, we've typed in the word average correctly. We're going to take our mouse. We're going to click on cell E18 and notice how it grabs it. That dotted line around it, that dash tells you it's part of the formula. Now, all right, the next thing is a colon. So I can do this one of two ways. I could actually type the colon if I wanted to. I can type colon, and then I can go down to the bottom of there, which is E25. All right, and you can see now it's highlighted. All those values are all outlined in blue, showing you those are part of a formula, okay? Another way I can do exactly the same thing, if I delete that, I can do exactly the same thing by right here, just left-clicking on that and dragging down. Notice it now highlights that, and I don't have to do any more typing. Yeah, I'm a little bit lazy, so I'm going to do the second method, right? You guys with me? All right. Close with parentheses and hit enter. All right. Now it says make sure that your formulas are formatted right here. Format the cells as explained above. Set the numbers of decimals as indicated for each term. Okay. The first one is two decimal places. The second one is one decimal place. The third one is three decimal places. So once again, I'm going to format this cell. This one is two decimal places. So I'm going to go up here this time, right here in the middle. Just left click. Watch, did you guys see that? I just added two decimal places. I can take away by right arrow. I can add by left arrow and that's it. Now you guys are left with the next set of formulas. You have the sum and the product, but you know what to do, right? Equals, sum, highlight the data range, just like I did in cell H18, and you're done. Now make sure those are formatted properly and you are good to go. Okay, in the final moment here, everybody, I just want to offer you some insights. If, if your cells are not changing automatically there's only one of two reasons either you're not putting in the correct formulas or you're not using the correct software okay you cannot use google sheets in this class that will not work you cannot use old versions of office you need to have the current office for this course you can do that right here by clicking the online and signing in with your gcu account or you can click the download, that will take you to the student portal, and you can install the latest version of Office 365 on your computer. Please, please, please do one of those two things so that your Excel sheets can be automatically graded for you throughout the course. Now notice, both links are an option for you, but please use the one that works best for your computer, okay? Thank you guys, and I will see you in the forum. Take care. Have some fun. Bye.